Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 2019 love reading for you um, singles and couples. We will do uh, singles first, past, present, future energy, foundation, and overarching energy of the reading. So let's see what our Taurus uh, singles have coming towards them in April. Spirit goods and angels ask all messages come through my cards for the best and greatest good of our single Tauruses. What do they have coming towards them in April? All right. I'm going to draw your cards because that's what I'm being told to do. All right, Taurus. Oh, the Ten of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Empress. There you are. Your foundation. Oops, my bad. Your foundation is the Seven of Cups, and or Pentacles, I'm sorry, and your uh, overarching energy is the Two of Pentacles. All right, guys. Could be dealing with another uh, Earth sign, but don't have to be. This is this is some really heavy energy, uh, Taurus. Um, I'm not gonna lie, but your future energy is freaking fantabulous. So have faith and hold on. Let's see what this is all about. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Taurus singles? Thank you. And the Three of Swords. Thank you. And the Ten of Swords. Thank you. Cards are just popping. And the Empress. My Zampers here in their future energy. Okay, and the two of uh, pentacles in there. Thank you. All right. Like I said, uh, both bottoms of the both bottoms of the deck are the king of pentacles. So either dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or another Taurus like yourself. Um, recently getting out of a relationship or in the works of getting out of a relationship. Your guys' uh, foundation is just feeling battered. Like you love this person, but you just can't take any more. There was too many secrets. Um, and this is coming to the end of a cycle with the Ten of Pentacles being in reverse. Um, this family situation is coming to an end due to somebody's um, secrets, somebody's uh Things that were done in the dark that you did not know about. This has really put you through the ringer, Taurus, or you did this to somebody else. Um, that is the foundation of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Moon in reverse. Um, in your past and coming through March into the month of April. Remember, this is April's reading. So technically, this I'm doing this March uh 15th. So technically this is the energy you're going through now. Um, but this is how you're coming into the month of April and it is the, uh, three of swords clarified by those three of cups in the, uh, well, it's the page of cups, but there's three people in that card. So, um, you're leaving, uh, uh, relationship that had a third party in it, whether you had the third party or they did, I do feel they did Taurus, um, because of your surrounding cards. But, um, yeah, this is, this is somebody, um, not, not being true in the relationship that you're leaving in the works of leaving behind. You do have the Ten of Swords in your current energy. So this is going to be in the month of April, feeling really deceived, feeling really hurt, broken. Um, this person, as you see in the window, is with somebody else. Um, so all these three cards, um, you're feeling betrayed and, and destroyed over this connection because they did have a, a mistress. Somebody in this connection, uh, somebody in this partnership did have um, a third party. They're all threes. That's crazy. Except for the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Swords. Okay, um, Taurus singles or soon to be singles. The best part of your reading is um, your future cards and your overarching energy cards um, because you're coming out of this situation, Taurus, um, in your element. You are going to come out of this um, situation 
because this less this this situation is going to teach you a lesson about yourself. It's going to cause you to go in deep and um, figure out who you truly are, what you really want, and where you're going to go from here. And you're going to create a new life because you're coming um, into this sense of awareness of how awesome you are. You're coming into this sense of confidence after um, getting out of the situation where somebody did not honor. You did not honor your value, did not honor your dedication to them, um, and you're going to realize, I deserve better, and you're going to create a new life for yourself. Um, it is going to take some healing, getting over this three of swords, um, but you're going to come out of this healing um, of the mind, body, and soul, holding that ace of swords, um, holding your truth, walking your truth. So... Um, in order to get to this Empress energy that you will be leaving the month of April, you're going to have to start healing um, that Three of Swords energy that you're dealing with. Um, and this is over the end of a long-term commitment or a marriage. Um, it's um, coming to an end. That needs healing from. Um, you're, the Hanged Man is in reverse. And it beings, it's in the future energy. Um, it's telling you you have to be you have to cocoon yourself. You have to remove yourself from this energy. You have to take yourself out of this situation. Um, cocoon yourself. Um, give yourself time to heal in this time of being cocooned away from the world. And when you do, you're going to emerge as this beautiful butterfly. And that is very, very um, amazing energy to have as your outcome. In your overarching energy, you have the two of pentacles. So, um, you're going to find balance. You're going to, this situation really threw you for a loop. It really threw you out of balance. You didn't know who you could trust. You didn't know who to invest in. You didn't know what to do. You were worried about juggling finances. You were worried about this person and what they were doing. And it just threw your whole life into chaos, Taurus. And you didn't even see it coming. Um, and that's the part that hurt a lot too, is you trusted this person not to do this to you. And, um, but you are going to find balance um, overall. The situation is going to bring you balance by leaving this situation that emotionally drained you. That you thought this person was a life partner. You thought this person was a soulmate. You thought this person had your back. Till, till death do you part and you're finding out that that they didn't and you are moving into this single energy with the nine of pentacles it's going to be hard you're going to miss this person as you see that person's just kind of longing just waiting for somebody but this um by leaving this two of cups energy in the reverse behind by leaving this family situation that has secrets and deceit and lies and third parties and mistresses and backstabbing betrayal by leaving all that behind. Um, it may be kind of lonely in the beginning. It may hurt. You may long for this person, but it will get easier over time and you will find balance. And in this time of this hanged man, you're going to find, um, healing and you are emerging this amazing confident person ready to set out in the world and just create a beautiful new life one that you know you deserve one that you know is meant for you so you're kind of growing through the growing pains right now you're going through that that hard transformation of letting go of what used to be in the caterpillar taking yourself out of the equation in the cocoon and and by the end of April, you will emerge beautiful and confident and in your element, most importantly. So, and with balance. So, um, Taurus singles, um, you may not technically be single yet, but um, you are working on it, if not already out the door. Um, because you just can't take this, this situation any longer. All right. Taurus couples, let's see what you guys have going on. Spirit Angels, please bring me any messages for our Taurus couples. Other than the situation we just received. I guess all messages be that the best and that is good of our Taurus couples. Okay. Nice. Taurus couples in April. You guys have in love the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse.
and the King of Cups in reverse. Your guys' uh, foundation is the sun. The overarching energy is the lovers in reverse. And that's clarified by the two of cups and the devil. Okay. This is a really uh, kind of a rough energy month for our Tauruses, but a lot of you are deciding to let go. And sometimes letting go is the hardest part um, because you so bad want to hold on to. But when there's nothing left to hold on to, you're kind of being forced into letting go because you, no one in this world has permission to treat you like shit. So if somebody in your partnership is treating you like shit, um, not respecting you, uh, not, you know, giving you love and affection, um, no matter how hard it is, make sure you are uh, making choices and um, moving yourself in a direction that is best for you. Just remember that nobody in this world has the right or permission to treat you anything but amazing. So if that's not the person that you're with, then um, you may be with the wrong person. Just a little side note is from what I'm getting. Okay, so um, Taurus couples. Let's see why the sun is here in your foundation. I'm hearing no matter what, the universe will always provide. You will not go without. If you're worried about making it or if you're worried about providing, um, you will be okay. If that's the main reason why you're staying in a stuck relationship, the universe will provide for you. Look at that basket of fruits and um, just the beautiful sun warming them. The universe will not let you um, struggle to the point where you can't provide. Why is the sun here in reverse? Especially if you're moving into the path of what is best for you, um, most definitely. So um, in your foundation, um, some things are being illuminated to, uh, to you, about you, um, and your lover. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini, but uh, there was some, uh, maybe some mind games being played in the past. Um, could be dealing with a Leo as well, but the, the universe is illuminating the issues where you could have been like somebody could have made you believe like gaslighting you or um making you think everything was just fine and really they were like messing with your head messing with your feelings um trying to pull a fast one on you trying to do things in the dark dealing with their shadow side their demons and um it's all coming to light what this person has been up to or taurus you could be having brought to light what you've been doing to somebody however it fits um, I will be uh, referring to uh, this energy as what's happening to you, Taurus. If it is the other way around, please just switch it, the roles, vice versa, because um, energy is fluid. Okay, so in your guys' past, coming up to uh, the 1st of April um, or around there, so, you know, in, in the mid-March to the beginning of April, um, somebody... Uh, you're hoping for somebody to come forward and um, offer you a new beginning, offer you this cup of love. You've been waiting for this for quite some time. Um, I do feel you guys are still together as a couple, but the uh, but the lack of um, love shown is is very um, prominent in the relationship. You could be with somebody, living with somebody, and it's just so quiet and cold in your house. You could be um, just trying to stick it out for the sake of children. Um, there's definitely children involved in this situation. Um, one, two, you know, maybe more. But I'm definitely seeing um, at least a child. This is, this has been, the situation has been um, going on for this long because you worry about providing for your children if you were to leave. You're having... You're not having the confidence to know that you um, you can create a beautiful life um, without this person who is um, not treating you right or vice versa. Um, so you're sticking it out in this loveless relationship for children 
due to your lack or due to your um, worry about finances, providing for them. But the universe wants you to know you have all the tools. You just have to believe it and it will flip around and the universe will guide you in the direction um, in where you're meant to go and how you're going to provide for your family. In uh, the current energy, in the month of April, the Queen of Wands is in reverse here. Um, let's see why the Queen of Wands is here for Taurus. Oops. Queen of Wands for Taurus. There's a Queen of Wands here for Taurus couples. Okay, so... Um, you're coming to the end of a cycle with somebody. Um, it's not quite ending yet uh, because you're having a hard time cutting yourself away from the situation. Um, you you get really mad to the point where you're like, I'm done, I'm leaving. And then you kind of get lost in the memories of how it used to be. You kind of get lost in, well, how am I going to make it? Um, I'll miss this person if they're not around. Um, you know, those type of feelings. Um, but you... You need to allow the cycle to end. You need to allow the hurt of the past to come to a close. You need to cut yourself away from that um, energy. Whether you stay together, I've said this many times before, ending a cycle does not mean leaving a person. Ending a cycle is dealing with the situation that is burdensome, facing it head on, um, acknowledging the feelings, dealing with the feelings, letting it go, closing it up and moving forward, taking that lesson that you learned from this situation with you so it doesn't happen again. If you don't allow the cycle to close, you're going to have to start all over and you're going to have to go through the situation again and again and again and again until you take the lesson and move forward and out of this energy. So you're really needing to cut yourself away from this energy. You need to allow the cycle to come to an end. It's almost there, but um, there's something that you're not dealing with. There's something that you're kind of putting um, off to the side and ignoring because out of fear of this relationship um, not working out or, um, or fear of the future um, without this person. But... Um, but this this cycle, um, it's being in, you're being encouraged in the month of April to deal with this to deal with this situation and to allow that cycle to close. Now, for the majority of you, you are going to allow this to close um, because you're dealing with somebody whose emotions are off the chart, whacked out. Like one day they want you, the next day they're meeting up with somebody else. The next day they they want to make this relationship work, but you find three text messages to somebody else on their phone. It's like back and forth, back and forth, up and down. Every time shit gets rough, this person runs to somebody else. Or um, every time they're feeling down and out, like they come running home, that kind of energy. It's just so back and forth, back and forth um, to the point where you're going to be done. You're, you're tired of it. Um, let's see where this King of Cups in reverse. This is also somebody who uses emotions to manipulate you because it, it comes in with the magician in reverse underneath it. Um, and, and you're finally getting this like realization that that's what this person is doing because the universe is illuminating that for you and exposing this magician um, in reverse and King of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who uses their emotions to manipulate you. To feel sorry for them, to um, to make them feel like the victim, you know, like um, the sun in reverse. So yeah, things that this person has done in the dark, Taurus, are being illuminated. So uh, you're really gonna see this King of Cups for what he is. So for some of you, unfortunately, you're going to try to make it work with this person and repeat this cycle. Um, but for the majority of you, you're seeing this person for what they're worth and you're leaving. You're or they're leaving one of the two um, because you have the lovers in reverse as your um, overall energy. And um, you're not choosing to to be with this lover any longer because it's in reverse. Why is the lovers here in reverse? Yeah, you're going to move on from this person. Um, you are going to allow your intuition to um, lead you and guide you forward um, away from this person, away from this connection that you're in because they're blocking out 
their emotions. They're not opening up to you at all. The only time they open up to you is when they um, try to make you feel guilty, try to make you feel bad, try to, um, you know, they're gaslighting you. Uh, but this person is really blocking out their true emotions, how they really feel. They have their wall up. They're not letting you in, letting you know how they feel truly. And it's really breaking down the relationship. It's breaking down the home. The foundation is crumbling. Um, the, this, this can't, this can't, this can't work. And you're realizing that. So you are going to move away from this. Um, lover uh, that you are dealing with and um, even though um, you felt like this was a soulmate you felt like this was your life partner you are breaking free from this toxicity you are seeing the toxicity for what it is and you're going to move forward um, Taurus and it's it's really going to free you it's going to free your energy yes it may suck at first, yes, it's going to hurt because the Six of Swords um, moves forward with emotional baggage, um, but they are moving into smoother sailing so they can concentrate on the emotions and leveling them out, balancing them out so they no longer have to deal with this toxic um, situation that you are currently in. Let's get some uh, romance cards here for our Tauruses. All right, Taurus Singles, what do you have coming towards you in April? You have forgiving and learning um, as you release and heal the past. <coughs> excuse me. You experience more love in your present moment. Very nice. Okay. Taurus, you guys have codependency. So addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, and for um, some of you, you're dealing with an addiction or your partner is, and that's um, something that's tearing you guys apart. But for the majority of you, um, Taurus couples, your codependency is on this person financially. You're worried um, that you're not going to be able to provide for your family. Um, I said that at the very beginning, that the... You don't have to fear lack because the universe won't let you um, struggle to the point where you can't provide. So you don't need this person. Um, for some of you, um, you're emotionally codependent on somebody or your partner is towards you. Um, I will get a clarifier for that just to kind of see what kind of addictions we're dealing with. Yeah, it's you got to lay this down. You got to walk away from this energy. You have to. This is not good. The devil with codependency. That's not good. Um, it's time to lay this down, Taurus. Um, the cards that came out clarifying this are wow, strength and the star. So you, when you face your fears, Taurus, of leaving this connection, when you face your fears and realize that you have the, the courage and the, and the strength to move forward, whether it be alone or not, um, you have control of the situation. You don't have to put up with this energy. If you are the one that is codependent, you have the strength and the courage to face your inner demons and heal from them. So, um, it's time to free yourself. It's time to break free from this energy. It's time to release this energy, move forward in your conviction and heal. Find the star and allow that energy to heal your mind, body, and soul. You guys also have the four of swords up there. So um, it's time to break free from this devil energy. It was in your overarching energy in the reverse. So I do see that happening. Have the hope and the faith and the courage to know that this is going to be this is going to turn out for the best for you because this is not healthy for you or your family, your children, um, because I do see a lot of you are worrying about children um, and leaving this relationship um, whoa. Uh, for you singles, forgiving and learning or almost singles. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Um, 
for some of you, you're holding off on that healing process. The healing process is now. When you forgive and learn, you allow that cycle to close. This is all about cycles, guys. Karmic cycles. When you allow it to close and you heal and move forward and forgive and learn, you don't have to keep repeating this. Um, you're putting yourself through this um, when you could move forward and heal. Um, and most definitely, you need to forgive and learn a, a person that you were in a marriage or a committed relationship with you need to forgive and learn from the secrets and the deceit and the lies that they told you um and the broken marriage or the broken relationship forgive move forward and allow that healing energy for you too taurus you guys are kind of having um a month of healing which you're going to come out beautiful beautiful empresses so or if you're the male you're going to come out much stronger, much healthier, um, and you won't settle for energy that, that treats you like shit. Remember that. Nobody on earth has permission to treat you like crap. So um, free yourself from this energy, Taurus, and move forward and allow in your blessings that you so much deserve. So I send you guys all healing, love, and light. God bless.